So let's start with the Six of Pentacles here. So it looks like this, the energy of January, it looks like there is a need for balance between you two. Um, someone may be putting in more energy than the other. Um, and again, it could go both ways. If you resonate more with the top row or a card from the top rather than one from the bottom, then that message is for you. Just apply it to your situation. But um, it looks like this whole month is basically um, trying to get balance between you two or um, at least balance things out. Maybe you put in more work than the other, but now it's going to be them putting in more work. Um, so this month is going to balance everything. Moving on to the past position, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Star card. So it looked like in the past, your ex was wanting something stable, or they at least came across as they were wanting something stable from you. And they could have been um, with another with another person and this person could have kids um, and maybe they were trying to build something stable with them um, but in the future or in the present I'll get to that it looks like maybe a little bit rocky if they are dealing with someone else um, but if they aren't then it looks like they were wanting something um, long-term committed with you uh, but something just didn't work out and again that's kind of making me feel like there may have been someone else that may have been involved that they wanted to be with and um, settle down with. But um, it looks like there was some sort of commitment issue that went on in the past. So with the star card here for you guys, it looks like you were definitely wishing for a particular outcome with this person. And maybe you were searching for the commitment with them, but they weren't able, they weren't ready to settle down with you. Maybe they were wanting to settle down with someone else. Or maybe you were wishing for them to not be with these other people. And it could also be with the star card here that you felt a very strong spiritual connection with this person. And they could also be a soulmate or a twin flame. Um, but I'm more feeling like that you were making a wish for a particular outcome with this person. Or you just in general felt a really strong pull and connection to them and it was kind of hard for you um, to, to deal with the ending of the relationship. Um, so in the present position, we have the Two of Pentacles and then we have the Three of Cups. So with the Two of Pentacles, if your ex-partner was dealing with someone in the past, it looks like they're definitely juggling them right now. I feel like they may be juggling between you and them or juggling their finances over them. But in general, they are juggling something and they're trying to make their decision and it's kind of hard for them to um, make a final decision. I did clarify that card and I got the Six of Cups and I got the Ten of Wands. So they definitely are overburdening themselves with this decision. They're kind of going at it blindly. And they're not sure of what direction to take. And with the Six of Cups here, it is saying that there there is going to be, or there was a it was um, a reunion not too long ago. So there is or was going to be a reunion between um, a past love or a past soulmate, and I feel like this could be with you. And with this happening, it is definitely causing them a lot of stress and is causing them to overthink and is kind of causing them to be in this position where they have to decide between you and something else or someone else. And um, it's definitely making them unsure of what they want. So I feel like right now you may decide to come back into your ex-partner's life and it may cause them some sort of stress and it may cause them to have to decide between two things. And again, if they are with someone else, it could make them decide if they want to be with this person anymore or if they want to be with you. Um, and it could kind of shake up their relationship. So um, I'm definitely seeing that. And it could also be that maybe you guys run into each other, maybe at like some sort of work event or some sort of um, somewhere in general, it could just be like a grocery store and that kind of causes them to think about you and, um, decide whether or not they want to be with you or if they want to just continue with their life without you or whatever. 
um, decisions, decisions for them. I've been seeing this type of deal in a lot of, a lot of other readings where there's just a lot of decisions in general this month of January. Moving on to your guys's position, we have the Three of Cups. So Three of Cups is definitely talking about a reunion happening, especially with old friends or old flames um, type of deal. And it could also be that you come, a, come into a third party type of deal, third party situation. Um, and if this person is dealing with a dealing with someone else and they are deciding to talk to you and try to figure things out with you um then you're definitely going to be in the middle of it but you're not feeling too negative about it you're not you know feeling um bad or guilty about it you're honestly kind of feeling happy that they're in their mind trying to decide whether or not they want you because who doesn't like to feel wanted i guess even though it's kind of bad <laughs> but it's true um, and I did pull a clarifying card for that and I got the page of pentacles. So it does look like you guys may be the ones that reach out to your ex, or it could be that you guys run into each other or in general, maybe it's your ex that communicates with you and it makes you celebrate with your friends and it makes you really excited and it makes you happy in general, even if they aren't dealing with a third party or if they're not dealing with someone else, you're definitely going to be celebrating and excited about that. Um... But I am feeling like it may be you guys reaching out to your ex. I really am feeling that. So if you are, be prepared for maybe them being in, in a relationship and be prepared for them to kind of be in their mind a lot and having to decide. But don't be, don't expect them to have a decision because moving on to the future position, they're definitely not going to be having a decision, um, at least for, from, during January and maybe even a couple months after that. So we have two fours here. So definitely a lot of contemplating, definitely a lot of thinking going on. So with your ex here, they've gone there right now or soon, they're going to be going through a stressful period where they're going to have to toss up two things and decide between two things or two people. And in the future, they're definitely going to take solitude, kind of become the hermit in a way and meditate and try to push these thoughts out of their head in order to get clear a clear guidance or clear knowledge on what they should be doing. Um, so I feel like you guys are gonna be communicating and but in the future, they may take solitude and completely stop communicating with you. And moving on to the Four of Cups, that might make you kind of mad and make you feel completely rejected like you you are offering this cup and this person is rejecting you um so with them kind of taking solitude and taking a break from you and taking a break from everything you're going to feel like they completely just dropped you um and are ignoring you and aren't interested in you anymore but i feel like that's not the case i feel like the case is that they're definitely going to um need to take this necessary break in order to get um, a clear understanding of what they need to do and kind of use their intuition on what they should do. So don't feel like they are ignoring you. I mean, it could be, well, they are going to be ignoring you, but don't feel like they're um, doing it because they don't want you in their life or anything. They're doing it because they're trying to figure out if it, what's best for them. Um... I'm shuffling the cards here, seeing um, if I can get a clarifying card for the Four of Swords. So yeah, they're definitely going to be taking solitude because first of all, they don't want to be, um, they don't want to cheat. They especially don't want to cheat on the person that they're with. And, um, and they're needing to, they don't want to lie. They don't want to be deceitful. They want to be clear and clean and they don't want to have to lie to the person that they're with about, um, you know, communicating with you. And that's why I feel like they're going to take solitude from both you and the other person. I'm really feeling like they're with someone else. And if not, then they're going to take this solitude 
in order to just be completely genuine with you and not cause any harm or any issues with that. Um, and it could also be that maybe you guys are with the, with the, um, partner and maybe they have found out, especially with the th three of cups here in you guys' reunion. Um, maybe they found out that you were being sneaky and being this person. And maybe that's why they're taking solitude and that's why they're ignoring you because they found out that you're being sneaky and then that you were lying. So it could go both ways. Tripod thing. And, um, and you could be dealing with an ex, you could be single or you can be in a relationship. It doesn't matter. This is a general love reading. So all messages could apply to any relationship. So let's start with the bottom of the deck card. We have the five of pentacles. So Scorpio, it looks like you may have been left out in the cold by someone from your past or left out in the cold in general by someone in terms of romance or you could or you could have left someone out in the cold or just kind of cut communication in general um, and it could have this card could have happened recently or it could happen in the future but the overall energy is just something um, being left kind of cut without an explanation, if that makes sense for you guys. So moving on to the past position, we have the lovers and then we have the devil. So two basically opposite cards here. Um, Major Arcana, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. But I, um, I am feeling like you, so Scorpio, I'm feeling like you may have been confused in a relationship. You could have been looking for a soulmate. So like the lover's card, you could have been looking for a commitment or your soulmate or twin flame. But in, but in return, you get this toxic person, um, that is like a karmic soulmate. So they're a lesson to you and not your true soulmate or not your true twin flame. They're kind of someone that was very toxic in your life. They could have been cheaters manipulators, liars. And again, this could be your energy as well. So maybe you were this toxic person to someone else. Maybe you cheated on someone else. Um, but I am feeling like you were searching for a soulmate, but in turn, you got this toxic person. And it could be because you are looking for the wrong type of people or you're attracting the same type of people into your life. Um, because of insecurities and because of fears and what has happened in the past. This is kind of similar to what has happened um, to Libras, I'm feeling. So if you are dealing with a Libra, you may want to watch that video or if you have Libra in your chart. But I am feeling like you really were trying to... Or maybe, you, honestly, maybe you were involved with two people and one of them was a soulmate and then one of them was a karmic soulmate or a false soulmate. And you were confused on which one to choose because the devil here, the person in disguise could have seemed like someone that was really um, positive and was your true soulmate because of their manipulative nature rather than the lovers here where this person was honest. And even if they were harsh, sometimes you're like, that just doesn't seem right because they're just being too honest with me or whatever, or they're not, they're not seeming perfect. So you may have been involved with two people in the past. One of them could have been a karmic soulmate or a false soulmate. And then the other could have actually been your soulmate. So, um, and it could also be that, um, that there was like drugs and addictions involved as well in the past. So moving on to the present position we have the six of swords and then we have the queen of pentacles. So I am feeling like you are going to be moving away from something that has happened in the past. And if you are dealing with two people, it could be that you're moving away from one of them or both of them. But in general, you're moving away from the past, from toxic environment, from toxic situations towards something more positive. The waters here are rocky and the waters over here are smooth. So you're moving towards something that is more positive. With the Queen of Pentacles here, it's showing that you're looking for something stable and um, where you can be yourself and truly feel at home and comfort comfortable within yourself and maybe even with someone else. And it could be that you're mainly just trying to focus on you because of what has happened in the past in relationships. 
Um, and with that, I clarified the Queen of Pentacles and I got the Five of Cups. So I feel like you are going to be moving away from whatever has happened in the past. But you may still have thoughts of the negative things that went on. And with these thoughts, it could prevent you from meeting your possible divine soulmate or twin flame. So be careful of your thoughts because thoughts are a very strong, powerful thing that can attract many things into your life without you even realizing. So be careful of focusing on the past and focus on what you want. Kind of wish for, wish for something positive, something successful rather than thinking about the past because you can attract this negativity back in by constantly thinking about it. So think positively, focus on yourself, do a lot of self-love. And if you do that, then you'll be able to attract a soulmate, a true soulmate. Moving on to the future position, we have the Fool and then we have the Nine of Cups. So the Fool card always talks about kind of taking a leap of faith towards something, going out of your comfort zone going towards something that you're not really sure of the outcome for. Um, and then the Nine of Cups talks about you making a wish. So like I just said, with you could possibly be attracting your um, Twin Flame or Divine Soulmate or you have the possibility to do that. So if you are wanting to, I feel like you need to take a leap of faith in terms of love. Go after things that you're not normally used to going after, going, go after um, new people, experience new things, go to new places. And with the doing that, you may meet someone that is a very, a very healthy relationship and someone that is very um, beneficial to you. And don't be afraid to wish for what you want. Don't be afraid to manifest positive things into your life. But don't manifest negative things by thinking about negative things. Manifest positive things by thinking about only positive happy thoughts because I feel like you have a lot of you have a lot of power in terms of law of attraction and in terms of manifestation so if you want someone positive and you want a true soulmate then you're able to do it but I feel like in the past you were doing it the wrong way and were attracting false soulmates because of kind of negative ties that you had in the past and um, negative issues that you've dealt with in relationships. So instead of focusing on the past and instead of holding on to those insecurities, let those go. And in doing that, you'll be able to attract um, a true soulmate. But go after people that you normally wouldn't go after. I feel like that's kind of like a huge, um, a huge message for almost all of the signs is if relationships weren't working out for you, then go after people that you normally would never even think about going after. So the cards I pulled for kind of your February sneak peek, I got the Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands, and then the Temperance. So I feel like you're definitely going to be walking away from conflict, from anything from your past, which is good. And um, you're going to be walking away from kind of toxic thoughts um, or thoughts in general that are clouding your judgment and are causing you conflict within yourself. I feel like you are going to be walking away from that, but you're not going to be fully walking away from that. So be careful of going back to this person where you're focusing on the past. So be careful of that. But I am feeling like you're moving your way towards... Um, towards the future into something more positive with the temperance here i feel like once you take this journey away from this conflict um, within yourself and conflict with anyone in your past i feel like you're able to attract someone that um, is very beneficial to you with the temperance here it could be so someone from your past that someone from your past is would be someone that is um, going to provide a healthy relationship not a toxic one um, so it could be someone from like your childhood or someone from school in general. You don't have to be in a relationship with them or you didn't have to have been in a relationship with them, but it's just, it could be someone from your past or it could in general just be the higher power allowing you, um, kind of a second chance in love. They're wanting you to find your soulmate. They're wanting you to be happy. So once you take this journey, then you'll be able to get this new love in that is going to be very beneficial to you.